Tune to Imat Learners and back in this topic we will discuss about probability. So in our past discussion we also tackle about probability, right? So right now we will tackle about the simple probability. Simple probability. So we need to get to know these terms first. Probability is a branch of mathematics that provides quantitative description of the likely occurrence of the specific event. In probability theory, experiments are conducted repeatedly and infinitely. Observations of the outcomes of this experiment are studied. For these outcomes, the probability of the event is calculated. So the study of probability involves the use of these certain terms as shown. Experiment is an activity by which the observation or measurement is obtained. When we say sample space, the set of all possible outcomes of a given experiment. Sample point is one of the possible outcomes in a sample space. Event is a collection of sample points or possible outcomes of an experiment. Okay, let's take our dice activity for this given example. This will be your die. So the, these, uh, there are six faces. One, two, three, four, number five, and number six. Number six. Okay. So example if this will be the given problem. Roll two dice and have both add numbers turn up. So roll two dice here is the experiment because experiment is a process that produces an outcome which can be random or not both odd numbers is the event or or it is the desired outcome of an experiment the statement for that so probability of an event or known as pe P quantity E. It is the ratio of the number of possible outcomes of an event divided by the total number of outcomes in sample space or S. So we can say as N quantity E over N quantity S. Okay. Numerically, probability of an event is quotient of between the number of outcomes of a desired event and the entire sample space of the experiment. So let us discuss using our dice example. So P both add numbers. So N both add numbers divided by N roll two dice. <clears throat> okay, so P both add numbers is the probability of event as what we as what the given problem. And roll two dice is the number of outcomes of the experiment. We use the fundamental principle of counting to do this because it also involves the two independent events. The first six indicates the first die has six different faces. This is the same for the second six. That's why six times six, that will be 36. For both add numbers for two dice is the number of outcomes of the desired event. We use fundamental context for this one. To do this, because it involves two independent events, the first three indicates that first die can possibly have outcomes of one, three, or five. This is the same for the second three. So three result for the first die and three result for the second die. So three times three, that will be equal to nine. So nine over 36. So we, we will simplify nine over 36, that will be equal to one over four. As an interp interpretation, this means that there is one out of four possibilities that both add numbers will turn up if two dice were rolled. 
in terms of the relationship of this ratio between the ratio obtained from the dice activity table. These values are near and almost the same, especially if the number of trials will be increased. Suppose that the trials from the dice experiment were increased to 1000, the obtained ratio from the dice experiment will be near the probability value. Okay, if this will be our probability scale. So zero. This means that there is no chance that event A will occur. 0 0.5. This means that there is only one chance out of two that event A will occur. This chance of success is only half. If 1 is our probability, this means that the event A will occur each time the experiment is done. Remember, the probability scale tells us the chance of occurrence of an any event A is only between 0 to 1. That will be your answer must be 0 to 1. So, example number one, two fair coins are toast. Again, two fair coins are toast. What is the sample space? What is the probability that two coins will bo both turn up heads? So, we will answer those questions. So, there are, uh, in, a, in, a, in a coin, there are two faces, one head and one tail. So, you can get the sample space using the table of values, tree diagram, or systematic listing. So, for now, let us use only table of values as shown below. For head, you can come up with head head or head tail. For tail, you can come up with tail head or tail tail. It means that there are four possible outcomes. So, experiment tossing two coins. Sample space, that will be 4 as our possible outcomes, that will be NS. And for our NE, that will be events or occur. So, both turn up heads, 1 possible outcomes. That's why NE over NS, that will be our formula. So, 1 is our event, 2 heads to appear. So, one possible outcome only. So, one. So, one over four. And that will be our answer. Example number two. If a card is thrown randomly from a deck of 52 cards, from the probability of getting a red, a heart, an ace, a face card, a number card. Okay. Remember, in a deck of cards, there are 52 cards. Okay. For red color, in a deck of cards, that will be 26 red colors. It includes diamond and a heart. So 13 diamonds and 13 hearts. That's why 26. In a heart, that will be 13 hearts found in a deck of cards. For ace, four. Four aces. That will be uh, one spade, one heart, one diamond, and one common guy. <laughs> For face card, there are 12 face cards. Okay, so the jack, the queen, and the king. So four types of colors that will be Heart, spade, kamungay, and diamond. So, four times the three faces. The jack, queen, king. Four times three, that will be 12. A number card, that will be 40. Because there are 12 face cards and the number card is only 40. Because 52 minus 12, that will be 40 number cards. First, we need to solve for the red. Okay, what is probability of getting a red? Okay, in a deck of cards, that will be. So, in getting red, that will be 
we use 26. And our NC here is 52. So 26 divided by 52. So we will simplify that. So that will be equal to 1 half. For B, what is the result in getting a heart? Number of hearts, that will be 13. And the number of cards, that will be 52. 13 divided by 52. And that will be equal to 1 over 4. What is the probability in getting an ace? So, the number of ace found in the card is 4. And the number of cards, the total number of cards, which is 52. So, 4 divided by 52, we can still simplify that. That will be equal to 1 over 13. For letter D, a face card. So, number of face cards are, uh, is 12. And the number of total number of deck of cards is 52. So, 12 divided by 52. 12 divided by 52, that will be equal to 3 over 13. When we simplify 12 over 52. For E, number of, a number card. So, numbers of a number card are, uh, is 40. The number of deck of cards is 52. When, you, when we divide 40 divided divide by 52, as we simplify, that will be equal to 10 over 13. Example 3. In a tossing a coin, find the following probability of getting a head. Next is probability of getting a tail. So in a tossing a coin, there are only two events that occur getting a head. So, one possible outcome in getting a head and one possible outcome in getting a tail. So, number of uh, possibilities, that will be two. So, NH, number of heads, that will be two, uh, one, then over two, the total number of possible outcomes. So, one half. So, that will be our final answer. For B, probability in getting the tail. So, 1 and 1 tail as a, is the possible outcomes. And the total number of outcomes is 2. That's why 1 over 2. And that will be our answer. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment.